Good morning, so today a uh, basic um, structs in Go. All right, so we have an empty uh, Go file with a main function. So to create a struct, we can just type type and then the name of your struct and then struct. So let's just instantiate a, a car struct. So you can do C uh, colon equal car with a squiggly bracket and then we can just um, print that uh, C. So you can see that it's just returning an empty um, struct. So now let's do interesting stuff. So if we give a property called brand, the brand of the car as a string, you can have a look to the um, primitive video to have another view of the different types in Go. Right, so you can see that here I just filled BMW and I didn't specify the property name, but you can specify it. It's not mandatory. It's going to be inferred by order. And then we can add another one to make things uh, more interesting. So um, here you can see that it's not mandatory to provide the year. And you can see that when I'm um, logging it, it's a defaulting year, which is an int as zero, which is the zero value of an int. Um, here you have the uh, classic trick with uh, percentage plus V on uh, formatting. Um, so then, uh, yeah, you can specify uh, an in for the year if you want, like that, and run it, and it's working. So um, how do you access a property uh, on a struct? So you just um, you just do dot and you can see the property available to you. So uh, here is year and brand and you can just log print the year for instance. Uh, how do you set a property? So here we want to alter um, the property year to 2000. So you just do C dot year and then assigning the new value and then you, s you can see how it works. All right, now I just want to show you uh, private public uh, accesses uh, around structs. So here I'm just creating a new um, folder called car and the package name is different from um, the main package that we were writing uh, previously. And I just drag the car struct that we built into the package car. So simply to invoke the struct we built, we just do a car.car .car and you can see that my ID imported the relevant package. So you can see that it's still working. Um, so as you know, in Go, um, privacy, public access, public private accesses are done via the first letter of um, the variable. So let's say um, we, are, we add another property called secrets but then with a lowercase s, you can see that in the main program, which is then different from the car package, we can't access to that um, property field, basically. So I cannot set a secret, the secret property for the car. Uh, although in inside the same package here, I can provide a constructor function. So simply new car, for instance, and it's just uh, sending back a car. Um, so then um, because I'm inside the same package, you can see that here I can set the secret property basically. So I can set it to top secret. And uh, what happened actually from a car instantiated in the main package and a car instantiated in um, its own package via a constructor function. So here I can just log um, the um, the result of that constructor method. So if I'm running it, right, so you can see that the second car has top secret as um, the secret property, but the BMW uh, from the previous example uh, doesn't have any uh, field because the zero value of a string is an empty string. Right. So you can also see that I cannot set from the main, but I cannot access either. So get and set are not allowed. I cannot do C2 dot top secret. So um, 
uh, just a quick refresher as we are talking about public and private so you can see that if I'm creating the struct bike I can access from the main to car.bike because it's capital B but what happens if it's a lowercase b so you can see that I cannot access to that struct so that struct is private uh, and it belongs to the car package right so you can obviously embed um, uh, structs into structs so here if we um, make the brand uh, more complicated than just a string you can see that uh, my car brand property is actually a brand type and brand is actually a struct with um, two properties name and reputation string and int so then you construct a car with um, instead of just passing a string as brand you're passing another full uh, struct so that was an example in the constructor function and in the main function uh, here's another example you can see that it's it, we, I have to prepare a brand uh, with car dot because it's not it's on package on line 9 so there you go so brand name reputation year and secret uh, I can um, put the same format for car number two to make things um, nicer so there you go so that was the basic on struct how to build one how to display one how to alter one how to um, make it public private um, that's really fundamental and important because struct are your data structure holder so thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video um, like it and if you have any questions uh, please let me know in the comments and uh, happy coding